Hi, I'm Merrick Demando, and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. <laughs> we're actually, uh, we're getting close to the end of season two. I've, I've been having to think about a few things. I'll tell you at, when we're done thinking, when we're actually done thinking. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Because we're right now about a third of the way through the second to last episode. That was pathetic, Clem. Just listen to me. Nice work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. What Got a nice little to addition do? to your arsenal. Oh. Nice. Take out the knees first. Then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Where are you? I already predicted the quick time. What can I do, Sarah? You did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? Very nice. Get away! Oh, that's a lot of That's people. a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And together. what gets the interest of the dead? Food. People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side. We can lure those okay. walkers over just here. Calm down. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. Let's make some noise. Right. What's going to grab their attention? Gunshot? I got you covered. Car. We're gonna get up and go. I don't think the barricade's gonna be enough. Those old zombies again are buddies from season one. Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. and draw the walkers just like moths to a flame give me a hand right right some kind of anime cutesy thing speaking A little too well. We should leave. Come on! Why are you doing I wonder what Sarah's doing to Luke. We can't stay here. Anything's pretty good. Crap. Anything's we gotta move it. Come on. Breach and clear. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Hurry! 
I'm 11. I've never done that. I've never done this before. She weighs like what, 90 pounds? If that, 70 pounds, I think more like. Help me block this! Hurry! Obviously blocked it. Sarah, please. Who's out there? Luke. Clem? Oh, thank God. Did they find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I, dead. I saw him outside. Look, he was out there, but we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. Indeed. When I heard y'all banging through the door. Luke, are you all right? I'm, uh, I'm walking. Can't do much else though. But Sarah. She's another story. I. I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clam. See, it's just like I told you. that They're okay. Sarah, come on. We, we have to go now. What's she doing? Can you get up? I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home, made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. Oh, not hard. What are we gonna do about her? Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. I know how you feel right now. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. Ever since the walkers, so many people I know have died. People I love. And for stupid reasons. Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Yes, I am. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you! What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here! Help me hold this! Clem, see what you can find! Can we use this? It's not big enough! The fridge! Forget it! That thing ain't budging! Find something else! Uh, Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. It's the only other thing in the room. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three! Go, 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 go. Come on! Ooh, zombies. Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! Okay, go, go! Keep pushing! 
Stop them for a minute, Luke, you first. We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. Then you're now, going to die. Clementine. If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. about what you're doing. You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! We gotta go. Sarah. Come on. If you can save people, save people. Because what's the point of surviving if you don't do things if you don't do the right thing? Survival can never be a goal in itself, that's the thing. Okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke. You can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. And all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Well, that's just bullshit. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to your friends.
Yeah, well, there's my neighbor stomping around and being utter dicks as usual. Son of a bitch. You found him! Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? He turned. Uh, Rebecca, how about we uh we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Only about three left of the I ain't gonna sugarcoat go this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. We said this already. Where is he? He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Would you be? I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. I think if it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. I'm sorry, are you forgetting the last time we tried that plan? If it weren't for the baby. <sighs> the last time we tried this did not go over all too well. Kinda lost it when I'm at Governor. Well, can't I just open the door? Instead of having to do this thing, I can't just click it to open it. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. Please don't try it with me again, Kenny. She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. Sarita was a good person. I liked her. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. No. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katja. Sarita. No peace. No rest. Kenny, you're not... You're not dead. We need you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Pretty well so far. Why the hell could Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Uh, of course. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. And that means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right. 
All right, give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her, make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Yeah, I told you I was coming here. Anyways. Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. <laughs> I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? If it's locked, maybe there's still food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know... Uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Uh, do we still have that hatchet? We could... Yes, we'll drop it. We'll fire the cannon at it. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Oh, that's not fun. Hey, it's this thing. I guess it's broken. No, oh, it just needs money to work. 
And that sign doesn't exist in the world anymore. Oh, Lee would love this place. Anything cool in the trash can? Find anything? No, not even trash. What's in here? Nothing. You could shoot it. Uh, you you have a gun. Well, that would be loud, granted, but no, but no louder than bashing it with a heavy thing. Well, that one works. Cool. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Hmm. hmm. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Can we fight him? Could be too risky. I didn't get a good look at him. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Injured leg. Hey. Put the gun down. I just want to talk to you. Put the gun down, Harry. Do you understand me? Yes. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. This wasn't my plan, by the way. I just wanted to speak to you. No, I have no more guns. I swear to you. Anything? Freaking mother load. Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it, I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must we believe... We don't believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means? You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, bullshit. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. Come around here again. 
I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Why? Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Not approving of how you're doing things. Clem, hey. Hey, Lou. Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. He had a bunch of medicine and stuff. Jane wanted to take it. Yeah? Well, did you? Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Hmm. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that... Maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. Oh, it has. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. And we'll continue this next video. I'm Ciao. Not hey, thanks for watching. This has been played, recorded, and edited by me, Marek D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to her commission page below. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Ciao.